Jamaica College has only managed to retain three of their players from their 2019 winning Manning Cup team. However, coach Davian Ferguson says uh, they're not daunted by having a newer looking squad after two years. Instead, he's promising attractive football based on the system that's in place. Denise Walters reports. Davian Ferguson says the return of schoolboy football is welcoming news, despite the fact that he'll have a different team at his disposal. We have three boys who were a part of the squad in 2019, one of them being a rotational player, um, the other two being what I have started in terms of including at least two or three 14-year-old um, players. So it's a fairly new squad, a fairly young squad, but what it is. He's of the view that most of the teams will be in a similar position, and despite not getting a chance to train as they'd like, he doubts the standard of the competition will fall. I think for the most part, at the start of the competition, I expect it to be um, a slow start. Most teams would be feeling themselves out, especially after so long. The quality will always be there because most of the teams that I've seen, they have very good youth program. In terms of what we want as a, a game model or what we try to achieve, it's offensive football, so we like to play on the front foot. We don't like to think that we're here to anybody. And, and that's the team that I believe that people will see um, of Jamaica College this year. With ISA mandating at least a first dose of vaccine for players, Ferguson says more than 90% of his squad members have at least received a first dose. We are in a very good position where that is concerned. We still have about 10 or 12 youngsters who haven't gotten their second shot, but for the most part, we have over 95% of have at least gotten a shot. So we are not bad where that is concerned. And based on recent announcements, I think that we should be okay come um, the start of the competition where that is concerned. Meanwhile, there has been a reduction in the number of participating schools across both Manning and Dacosta Cup competitions, and Ferguson says it's understandable given the ongoing pandemic. In 2020, um, we had difficulty moving players, meaning moving them on to scholarships and, and other opportunities because we never had a competition. So I think having a competition, whether it's every team or some team, is a plus. 22 schools are entered for the Manning Cup set to get underway on November 12, and 53 teams are scheduled to compete in the DaCosta Cup set for kickoff on November 13. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.